Okay, here's my attempt at a conspiracy tinfoil hat rant video. I've been trying to figure out why the elite want to kill us. And they've been, they've, they've been doing it, you know, with oil spills and radiation and and turning corn into fuel. I mean, that's retarded. Why do they do all these stupid things that are ass backwards? And people say, oh, it's just, they're incompetent. You know, that's what they say. Well, I don't believe it. If these elite are so smart and we're so stupid, then they must have a long-term agenda. I don't think it's open-ended either. I think they have a time limit. And here's my here's my point basically is it, it looks like they're preparing for something. Now Tenant Bruce T said there's so much distraction out there, they must be there must be some type of big thing coming. Well that's what I, I believe that too. But I don't think it's like a currency collapse or Maybe they'll try some type of war, but I, what I think is it's going to be something celestial coming by, like uh, Nibiru or whatever. Something that they know about, and they're not telling you about it. And they've been preparing for thousands of years, who knows how many thousands. You know, it's been 10,000 since the last Ice Age, so since then anyway. I think this is a regular thing that they know about and they prepare for it and so this run up in the population where we have this giant increase I think that's just that they have lots of workers to produce lots of products that they can squirrel away in lots of bunkers or wherever they're gonna put this stuff so they can ride it out okay they'll have they'll have the resources and meanwhile we're all going where's the food you know and they'll just say, oh, it was the droughts, and oh, it was the wet weather, or whatever. But meanwhile, they're just socking it away in a hole. And here we are, we don't know nothing. <laughs> so, I think all these distractions are basically to keep us involved with, oh, the New World Order, or, you know. I mean, even Alex Jones, I think, is a distraction. You know, he's getting... How could he possibly be on there saying what he says? I, even I think most of it's true. Except, I mean, they would kill him. It may be true, but that doesn't mean that that's their real plan. It could just be disinformation, you know. I don't think their real plan is to go long term. Their real plan is short term get us believing, oh, there's going to be a new world order and it's a slow, slow burn, you know, it's be like cooking a frog in a pot or whatever. Yeah, if we're looking long term and they're fucking running for the, running for a hole somewhere in the ground. That's what I think. Yeah, so a, a regular event comes by like a Nibiru or a Planet X or whatever you want to call it. Every so many thousands of years, millions of years, I don't know how long these people have been around. Okay, so they, they have these preparations. <laughs> yeah, preparation H, whatever, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so they have this run up in the population, it, and they're going to blame it on us. Oh, you people don't know how to keep it in your pants, whatever. They did this. I mean, if they're so good at engineering society, they could have easily controlled this, right? They could have easily kept the population down, you know? So either they are, you know, all-powerful, or they're just a collection of idiots that somehow got into power. I don't know. I doubt it. I'm going to stick with the all-powerful one version. And, uh, I mean, it just makes more sense. Everything they're doing with food. Uh, yeah, and why are they trying to kill us? Well, this, uh, that's another thing. Like oil, we don't need to be burning oil. I'm pretty sure that they they have free energy, but they're not going to let us in and on it because then we'd be just as powerful as they are. If you had energy at your fingertip that didn't cost you anything, you wouldn't listen to anybody telling you what to do, 
I said, I got free energy. I'll just grow my own food and you can all kiss my ass. So they're not going to tell you. Definitely not. But why are we burning oil then, you, you ask me? Well, oil is a pollutant. It's a big agenda, you know. It gives them all kinds of reasons to blame it on us. Oh, you people with your cars, you need your cars. Yeah, and you, you destroy the planet with your pollution. There's just too many of you, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Again, if they're so smart, they would have easily avoided it. It's not like they don't have the power. They got all the effing power in the world. They don't need more of it. They've got it all. So it's a long-term plan. You know, they can say, oh, global warming caused by you know, pollutants caused by carbon. So they can blame it all on us and if society like stumbles out of this event then they'll have a ready excuse for everything. And people will just believe it because it all happened, you know. And another thing about oil, they probably use it for resin, you know. They've been drilling for oil, drilling for oil. I don't know what they're socking away in their little holes. I would sock away plastics. Because you can make anything out of it. Anything you need. And you can recycle it, use it again and again. And oil is a great source of plastics. So how do you come up with other things that they would they would have us produce? We're just worker bees for them. We don't mean anything. It's easy to kill us when the time comes. They just pull the food supply and shut off the power, you're gonna die. They know that. They don't have to have a war. Okay, but the deal with the Ice Age is that, yeah, I was trying to figure out why they're killing us off if there's a big comet or whatever gonna come and smash us anyways. Why would they do that? Well, with an Ice Age, there'll be just a narrow strip of arable land you can grow food on, you know, somewhere wherever the equator is going to be, I don't know if it's going to change. Wherever that is, they're going to want for themselves. Okay, so they're going to want you to die first. Either die first or be so weak that you can't get there. You know, weak or out of fuel, you just can't get there. And then eventually you'll just die in the cold or where. I don't, I don't think an ice age happens overnight. So they're going to need the cops and whatever to keep you from migrating. They just want you to die so that they get the land and they'll spend the however thousands of years it is on that narrow strip of land. You know, after all, I mean, after all the asteroids and whatever this planet that's going by drags in, it's going to beat the hell out of us with all, all the debris it brings around with it, I'm sure. There'll be volcanoes going off. earthquakes for sure and another thing about this in the Bureau stuff I don't know about tidal waves I mean obviously there'd be tidal waves from the earthquakes but mile high tidal waves I don't think so and as far as the uh, as far as this other thing grabbing the planet magnetically I don't I doubt that too so it's just our magnetic field is about as strong as a uh... oop, that's a mosquito biting me it's about as st strong as a refrigerator magnet so I don't see that happening what you, what you would get is large tides could be 100 feet, could be 300 feet, I don't know how high these tides would be if you had a dwarf star next to your planet <laughs> At the very least, you have earthquakes and, excuse me, earthquakes and volcanoes erupting. Now, the volcanoes are going to throw up all kinds of ash, and that's where you get your, basically, a nuclear winter and ice age. And another thing about nuclear power, like I said, I, I believe they have real energy, you know, cold fusion or whatever. I don't know what it is, zero-point energy. So they don't need, they just introduce nuclear power 
as a fallback to release radiation, I'm sure. Here's a viable, easy way to kill people, and they think it's legitimate. You know, that we have this. Oh, we need it. Whatever. <laughs> they just press a button and we have radiation in the air now. I'm sure you're thinking, yeah, but they gotta live on the planet too. Well, that's another thing. They probably have a cure for cancer if they're all so powerful and smart and whatever, and they've been around thousands of years, hundreds, thousands, probably. They must have a cure for cancer, so they're not worried about that radiation, you know, but then they are dumping barium and aluminum from the airplanes so maybe that'll help protect the land yeah the people will die off but the land will be all right that's what they want they want the land to be okay so yeah they're trying to kill you don't let them do it So yeah, we're just worker bees. There was no accident population growth. Please. I don't think so. If everything's controlled, then you wanted it that way. Anyways, that's my version. Nuggets of Truth is going to come out with his version of something more conventional. A grand theory. So I'm looking forward to that. You know, I'll believe whatever makes sense. I got an open mind, obviously. <laughs> Alright, good day. Don't let them kill you. <laughs>